The food shelf at Second Harvest is getting a little extra help from the kids at Robert J. Elkington Middle School in Grand Rapids. Our Sherelle Moore tells us about their fundraising efforts for this week's Golden Apple. Robert J. Elkington Middle School in Grand Rapids is on the lookout for your spare coins or spare cans. We're working with Second Harvest and we're trying to raise food and money for them to deliver the food out to the community and families and students that we're surrounded by every day. We talked about how it keeps it local, how when they donate they're providing so many meals for so many hungry people and there's people in the building that take advantage of it and, and uh, it's helping people near them. It's great versus great in this game of Penny Wars and the prize is pretty sweet. Whoever raises the most they get a party so then if they want to have the party then they raise money for us. This game of Penny Wars comes at a significant time. Right now it's food share month in Minnesota. That means anything the kids raise will be instantly matched. It's to help people like fill the shelves of the food shelves so people everywhere can get the food that they need. So that's partly why we're doing Penny Wars and Food Drive in March. Even though March is Food Share Month, the Student Council has actually been working with Second Harvest since February, both in and out of the classroom. We went to Second Harvest and we packaged food for the people um, to be spread to the public. We packaged cereal, onions, and we sorted green beans. So we did that, so we volunteered there for a few hours. The buckets will be counted tomorrow, and then the Penny Wars champs will be crowned. This is actually the second year the Student Council has worked with Second Harvest. Last year, Jay Elkinson raised more than $5,000 for the food shelf. This year, they're hoping to beat it. We're watching the kids grow into leaders in the community, uh, taking an active role in helping all people around them and seeing where their money goes and, and keeping it local and, and seeing what kind of effect they can have. And you never know. Working with Second Harvest may just become a tradition at Jay Elkington. I think next year we're probably going to do this again because it's such a fun experience to do everything that we're doing. So I think that the 6th graders that might join student council next year and the 7th graders that are going to become 8th graders are going to really like doing this another year. Reporting in Grand Rapids with this week's Golden Apple, Shra Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.